All right, so exactly where I left off. I want to show you guys something. And I didn't want to show it in the last video because I already had, like, a lot of video to go through. So, my garden's full of grass. And the dragon tongue beans have not recovered. As well as something ate this. Poor little Dahlia in the corner. So they've not really recovered. But... Look at these. These beans have... They're red noodle beans. I was actually contemplating replacing them. Pulling them out and planting new ones. But I didn't. But look at the other side, guys. It's like... you doing? I suggest you get out of there. I think it's beautiful. That's that's my biggest draw to having these arch trellises and growing some vertically was having something that would fill this up and it would be just gorgeous. Like this one, which this one I'm not planting any other beans near because it is uh, the Cherokee Nation Trail of Tears beans. I'm trying to propagate a lot of it for seed. Because I would love to be able to share the seeds from it with other people. And I've got some beautiful blooms. So it's only a matter of time till I actually get beans off of it. These are really, really hardy and heat tolerant. So there is a little sunburn. But they really i've been told they're super hardy and then on the other side you see <laughs> this one i'm trying to this was really pretty lettuce and i want to let it seed which it's blooming so i can oh, i can keep some seed from it right here this little guy here he got heavy and fell over i think is what it is I'm just winding up into the trellis. And the best thing about cattle panel trellises is they're super inexpensive. And ignore the grass back there. Those are eggplants, by the way. <laughs> they're really inexpensive. So, okay, there's an overachiever. He went from there to there. And it doesn't take much. Just two T posts and a piece and a cattle panel to get this thing going. And this one big pumpkin, this was the first pumpkin. I got a second pumpkin and it's pretty pitiful looking. But this guy here, I'm gonna have to put him back inside the garden. Because if he grows out there, the chickens will eat it. So This one's fine. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I planted two seeds in here. And I don't know what they are. Can somebody help me? They might be patty pan. I don't know, but they're rocking and rolling in this tub. It's kind of an experiment because I've not had any luck growing squash in these. So it's pretty squash though, whatever it is. And my lavender. Oh, and then there's a little Swiss chard growing in it, too. Look down here, guys. I got a gigantic zucchini to pick. But the bloom is still on it. Look how big that thing is. And one last thing before I get back to picking grass. I have baby patty pans. Um... So that's why I think, well, it might not be a patty pan. The leaf is a little bit different. This is a patty pan also. It just kind of is under the grass. I need to do better next year. I need to mulch and mulch and mulch. Then this one is just a yellow squash. There's lots of little babies on it. Um, this one I think is a yellow squash also, but it might be a zucchini. These over here in this bed are all yellow squash, and there's a million babies on it. And on that one, oops, 
still got some blossom in bra issues. I'm going to clip that here in just a minute. And, sorry, <laughs> I really think that the blossom in bra is because we had so much rain. I don't know though. Um, I'm going to pick a little more out of this bed. I got to, I got to pick up these watermelons. Anyway. And probably pick around in this bed. I've got grass everywhere. Grass. I grow grass, guys. I don't grow vegetables. What are you doing? Are you hiding back there? I don't know if you guys remember this big pile of gravel. I need to spread it out in the garden. I've got some low spots, like there's one right there, and right here is kind of a low spot. But I need to get them spread out so that I can have Matt put my bathtub right there. That, sh that particular spot gets the most shade in all the garden. Plus, it doesn't get quite as much hot sun on it like you would think. Um, it gets quite a bit of sun. But then I could probably grow something like water lilies in it, which would be pretty awesome for me. So I could go dig those myself. I can't believe, I let this right here bolt. I didn't want to pull it out. I wanted it to be pretty in the garden. I'm kind of hoping the lettuce bolts, but I don't think it will. And I've got okra growing. I've got to pick grass around it. It's supposed to be all different colors, but it looks like I'm going to have all reds, pretty much. Plus the cat, they've got one huge spot. And I've got things to do at the rabbit barn. I'm going to move the dresser today, but I probably won't film it. But yeah, guys, it's supposed to be nice-ish, like 90-something. The humidity hasn't turned on yet, really, so we'll see. I'm going to pick a little more in here, and then I'm going to go work in the the barn. Cows! Moo! What are you doing, guys? Hard to see them in the shade. Hi! There's my pretty boy. I think he is so handsome. And he loves this big old girl right here and he can't even get on her. I think it's hilarious. And I think I'm going to try and switch mostly to rabbits for that chicken type meat. Uh, the rabbits by far are cleaner. <laughs> and they are, I like the rabbits. I really do enjoy them. They have such cute little personalities, which I love the, the sea monsters, the Cornish cross chickens. They have great personality also. But I feel like the rabbits are a little more my thing. Just the longer I've had them, you know. Another big reason why I like the rabbits because look at this poop. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? I'm gonna go dump it in the compost bin real fast. I'll be right back. I'm back. No poop. I still haven't finished my latches on this thing. I did get one on there. Get in here and get water out. And that's my green egg layer flop. I'm working on. It's 
too big to fit. But I am moving the milk stand down, so it should be okay. And even whenever we have the cages on this side, it'll still be okay there. I, I really want to put this in that space there, but I know it won't fit between the pallets and this 4x4. And I should be able to still get into Bunny just fine. I didn't have a camera in my way. We'll see. If I don't like it, I can always move it. It's pretty heavy, but, um, and I, I'm glad I got that rake out here because I'm going to rake all of this back flat again. Yeah, there we go. I moved that big thing out by myself. going to eliminate some airflow for Bunny, so I might have to move it later. He looks a little traumatized, guys. Harry doesn't, Harry doesn't care. But And if it does eliminate some airflow, it is definitely going to not be right there. But for now, that's where I wanted it. Not thinking about these cages being uh, how they are. Honestly, I thought I'd hang the cages higher, but I like the height they are because it's easy to get in and out of. It's, you know, waist high. <laughs> it's hot. I'm sweaty. But that's where I wanted it. It will probably move this afternoon, let's be honest. Right, right here. And, but yeah. <laughs> A lot of work. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. God bless.